All right, so we're going to talk about chapter 1-5. Dramatic pause to make it more exciting than it actually is. That's right. That's right. So we are going to be looking at applying formulas for perimeter area and circumference. You're not cheering? Oh, come on. It's fun stuff. Here we go. So we're going to be taking a look at several different key definitions. So we have a rectangle. A rectangle is defined by a quadrilateral, quad meaning four, lateral meaning sides. And opposite sides of the quadrilateral are congruent. Now a rectangle also has four angles of exactly 90 degrees and not one angle more or less, or degree more or less. And the area is simply going to be base times height. The perimeter is going to be two times the base, because you have two bases, plus two times the height. For a square, well, that's just another rectangle, but a special case rectangle where all four sides, so I should have done this, all four sides are equal, congruent. So the area is just going to be the base squared, because it's the base times the height, and the height is the base, so base squared. And the perimeter is just going to be, well, you have four of them, so four times the base. Now we have a triangle. Very tricksy. Now I have a scalene triangle drawn here with an obtuse angle, so it's an obtuse scalene triangle. The area is going to be one half times the base times the height. In this case, the height is the perpendicular distance from the bottom to the top of the triangle. The perimeter, on the other hand, is going to be the sum of all the sides, so A plus B plus C. For a circle, we have area and perimeter. Perimeter? What? No, it's called circumference. The area is simply going to be, I feel like you can't see me, so I'll go right here. The area is actually pi r squared. So pi, 3.14159, you know, you get the idea, times the radius squared. The circumference is going to be the diameter times pi, also known as 2r, 2 pi r. I learned it as 2 pi r, and then as an adult, I'm like, no way, it's the diameter times pi. Shocking! A little embarrassing, I didn't notice that right away, but whatever. As long as you make it to the party, it doesn't matter when you get there. All right, and you also need to know the definition of base, height, diameter, square root, oh, isn't that funny, square root, circumference, and radius. So we are going to do some examples really quickly. Oh, I'm not late. Welcome. Mr. Siebold just joined in on our geometry class. Good stuff. I thought it was 115. It is 115. I have seven minutes. Okay. All right. So we have a quadrilateral, and it happens to be a rectangle because we have two pairs of congruent sides and four right angles. So we're going to find the area and the perimeter of this rectangle. And we have a base length of x plus 4 and a height of x. All right. Let's start with the area first. Now, the area is going to be equal to the base times the height. Well, the base in this case is x plus 4. The height is x. So I can write it in factored form, and that's okay. I don't need to expand it. But if I wanted to, you could also say x squared plus 4x. For the perimeter, well, I have two groups of x plus 4 plus my two groups of x. Now, it's not really acceptable to write the answer in this form. It's not simplified. So you need to simplify it. To do that, let's distribute the 2 to the x and the 4, which gives us 2x plus 8. But we still have the plus 2x. Well, since I have common terms, I need to put them together. 2x plus 2x is equal to 4x. And I still have the plus 8 sort of long-winded. I'm sure there's a quicker way to do it, but it's better to show every step. For the second example, we have a triangle, and we have A, B, C, and D, D being the perpendicular distance from the base to the, to the height. 
All right, so let's take a look at this. A is x plus 6. B is 3x. C is 10. So for the primer, let's put all of those things together. We have x plus 6 plus 3x plus 10. Well, adding them all together, x plus 4x, 3x is 4x. I jumped ahead a little bit. 3 plus 10 is 13, plus the 6. So let's just add that now. So we end up with 19. For the area, it's going to be base times the height. The base being, in this case, 6, and the height being d. Or sorry, the base being c and the height being d. So we have a base of 10 and a height of 2x. That gives me an area of 20x. All right. So we are going to probably stop right there, and we'll have a second video to go over the last two example problems. All right, I'll see you in a little bit.